If anybody wants a good diet, look, you want to look like me? Oh boy. Lots of bread, lots of cheese, no exercise. I, God, I God is good else. to any. God is good to any. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hi, I'm Dr. Drew, and this is Dr. Drew After Dark. Please be advised that Dr. Drew After Dark may contain sexually oriented content and be unsuitable for young children. Well, you can imagine I'm asked by supplement manufacturers to discuss their products, and I do when they're natural ingredients and they look at the issue scientifically. They have good data. I was recently introduced to a brand called Ned that I'm excited about. They've created a daily supplement to boost one of our body's most needed minerals, magnesium. I remember my I had a an endocrinology fellow that used to kept hammering me when I was a resident about the importance of magnesium. Because magnesium supports hundreds of essential functions in the body, it includes mood regulation, brain function, muscle health, even our physical response to stress. And although it's the fourth most abundant mineral in our bodies, many adults don't get the amount of magnesium they need. Ned's Mellow Magnesium Super Blend combines three forms of the mineral, L-theanine, GABA, and magnesium thionate, which is the only form shown to permeate the blood-brain barrier. This is key to its potential to positively supporting memory and focus. Proper levels of proper levels of magnesium can also improve nerve and muscle health, help reduce anxiety, and even promote more restful sleep. In fact, I took Mellow last night. That's right. Rather than packing all that into a giant capsule, Mellow comes in these individual powder pouches. You simply mix with water. It's available unflavored or in lavender berry, a cool blend of blueberry and lavender. Last night, I just happened to have had unfl unflavored. It's good. I'm anxious to continue using Mellow and to see how it works for you all. I want you to go to helloned.com slash Drew or just enter Drew at checkout and you will get 15% off your first one-time order or 20% off your first subscription order plus free shipping. That's helloned, H-E-L-L-O-N-E-D.com slash Drew to get 15% off a one-time order or 20% off your first subscription order plus free shipping. Thank you, Ned. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dr. Drew After Dark. Make sure you keep sending those voicemails to 818-253-1693. And the uh, emails will go to drdrewafterdark at gmail.com. Dr. Drew, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I've heard a lot about the show. Thank so, you for coming. Uh, my privilege. I uh, I happen to have a... We're not going to uh, stop this. We're going to keep this going, guys, just so you know. So go ahead. Yes. I happen to have a doctorate degree, and I just wanted to make sure that everything's all good. Do you have any questions, anything going on? Um, How are you feeling? I heard you had COVID recently. How's I that had going? COVID. We've discussed that, though, have we not? No. Yeah, I'm all back. I'm pretty much all back, though. I still have some very, very strange stuff. I, I'm sleeping excessively, like for me. Mm. Like if I... I had probably eight hours of sleep last night, and I thought to myself, I got to have two more easily. And that's unlike me. I know you don't, you're not like that at all. Eight hours of sleep sounds really bad. I yeah, would recommend yeah. you stop that yeah. immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. You got to get on that four hour sleep diet. It's all about that. I, I wish I could, uh, well, right now, especially, I wish I could live on that, but I, <laughs> I am so ridiculously, some, it is like a head injury. And I imagine, you know, if you had a traumatic brain injury, you probably felt like I did, you know, about three weeks ago, which was I was kind of dazed and out of it and no energy and just weird, uncanny. Now, sleep excessively at night, go to bed, want to go to bed early, and then some weird memory stuff, like weird. And weird I heard, heard a lot stuff. of, like, I can almost not remember the illness now. Like, like it's very Whoa. vague to me. So, like, it, it like was created. very vivid for a while, and now it's very vague. Huh. And, and word finding is difficult and it's just not not quite myself. Not quite myself. But, you know, it's all good. I'm better. I'm hmm. certainly able to get through my day. You look worried, Annie. Afraid you're going to get this thing and no, you no, whacked I, on I the mean, head like me? No, I just, I've never heard symptoms like that before. Oh, yeah, they're pretty common. Jeez. This is all part of the, the, the neurological. This, this is what I, my, my, and the ringing in my ears gets worse and better and whatnot. It's usually better, but it's, get, it's right now coming back. Uh, and it is to the point that I was making when I was sick, like we, we've had so much focus on the mortality associated with COVID, the morbidity, you know, the, the injury of it, the misery of it is way bigger than the mortality, way bigger. And this is something and, you said is going to last for around for how me? long? We don't know. We don't know. I, no I took telling. the fluvoxamine that made me a lot better. I took it for two weeks and it really got me over the hump where I, where I would not be functional right now if I were still like that. I, I just was too much. I had to rest all like... After this show, I'd have to lie down. I mean, that'd be it. That'd be a good day. Yeah. And it's weird when you have those sorts of symptoms because you're not, I'm not normally like that at all. Well, I definitely need you to get better because we have to do that arm wrestling contest that you've yeah, been stalling you, you for see, literally like the past year. 
I know. I, before, when you, last time you really brought it up, it was mm-hmm. really when I was sick and I was not up for it. Um, I don't know. Today I'm feeling a little more sort of like maybe it's the thing we ought to do. I don't Uh-oh. know. Today. I, I, I'm not good. Well, before my joints hurt and everything, I was worried. But but I, I feel like I could at least muster. I'm no good at arm wrestling. Mm. I'm the best. So, I mean. You're, you're going to kill me, right? You understand that. You know, I can't. You know what sucks the worst? you want to just do it real quick? Just do it? Or do we have to make a bigger deal out of it? We, we could. We need a proper table and stuff. We could do it, but I don't know how we could do it and Cause, get cause the right I'd bring angle my arm on it. Going over. Yeah, which is the other I, I problem because I have bad shoulders and stuff. So anyway, so I mean, we could do it in the wide. Maybe we could do it at the end. Hmm. We'll think about it. Okay. Maybe, maybe, is there something else than an arm wrestling? Uh, one of the teen moms is texting me, so I have to respond. Oh, is she so, okay? She's uh, yeah, she has some COVID questions. Mm. So there you go. Teen moms. Teen moms. Uh, some of them still reach out to me for all kinds of interesting stuff. And they're, they're, I've known them for 11, 12 years. Yeah, it's pretty it, crazy. It's wild that you just give people medical advice and, and help all the time. I feel like that you're just never not working. Are you ever not working? I love to work. <laughs> that I know. I really love to work. And <laughs> so I, if I'm not working, I can go to zero. I can, but I, I prefer to be doing stuff. And now, funny you would bring this up. I'm having this very strange experience now hmm. where, I think I brought this up before, but but let me try to articulate it even better, which is I feel like to, for me to do, particularly on the addiction side and the psychiatric side, I feel like there's no money that you could pay me that would make it worth my while and if i and if i were paid adequately it would be people would have to be struggling to pay i, I don't want to do that to people like they say, people that are into what? drugs aren't into insurance let's put it that way and i don't want those people to be further in debt because of my services so i and i've had this extraordinary experience where i i know a lot i've seen a lot i've seen everything so I just want to give it for free. I just want to just I just want to pile it out there as much as I can. Give it for free. Uh, I mean, and it, I, it's just sort of a weird, interesting phase of my life I'm in, where it's like eh, I'd rather do fun stuff and interesting things and get paid for that, and for the stuff where I'm really making a difference medically, I'd rather not get paid. It's very strange. I mean, I but I'd rather give it for free. So. I think you're doing it with this show, right? I am doing it, and and of course everything I do has some of this stuff in it. But but at least I'm doing it. As somebody was pointing out to me that I seem to be having so much fun on this show that I'm, I'm, and and when I'm with Christina, particularly, I go into a zone where I just am just willing to say answer any questions, no matter how embarrassing. I'll just go, <laughs> and so you know that's not my normal routine when I'm dealing with medical stuff. But but and and the other problem is I have a super high standards for what proper care is of a patient, and for me to clear the deck to do that proper care, I'd have to just stop everything. Because I have to really make myself available to, to do proper care. So I just, it just doesn't fit for me right now. But thankfully, I'm so grateful to have all this stuff. I can just give, 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 give. And well, so, you helped so me. So. You helped me back when I had COVID. You, you told me to take vitamins, which I've never done in my life before. Yeah. And um, it helped. I mean, it was it was wild. It was one of those things like, um, it, you know, the Pazitsky effect. Are you familiar with the term? The Pazitsky effect. The Pazitsky Whoa, effect. I, I need to think Pazitsky. I'm fascinated by it. So go the, ahead. The Pazitsky effect is when it's, basically it's, it's as you grow older and you realize, oh, this thing that I've just been inconveniencing with myself with for the past like 15 years, I didn't need to do that for the past 15 years. We're talking about you holding your stool for a month? Is that what we're talking that about? That is not what we're talking about. No. That is about efficiency. And I we see. Will so get that, to that. that is not an inconvenience. That's that something is not. that's a necessary necessary part of our life. That okay. is a thing that the whole world is the problem. Got I'm it. the I'm the one that's doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this Pazitsky effect is where it's like um for instance, my Pazitsky effect was that I washed I used to wash dishes uh because my mom told me that you can't put dishes in the dishwasher unless they're clean. And I didn't it didn't occur to me that the dishwasher washes dishes <laughs> until you, I was well, like of course. mid 20s. Yeah, you know? yeah. You take your mom's word for it. We take the adult's word for it. Yeah. Right. And you don't learn until you're in your mid thir- thir- 20s or so, even 30s, mm-hmm. that most adults don't know what the hell they're talking about. Exactly. So, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure there's still tons of mom logic that's up here that I, I have yeah. yet to unlock. Have you but... thought about going back to school? Do you think about that? Hell no. No, uh-uh. you don't want to do that. Do you do no. well at school? Or you just don't like school. I am the worst at school because. Which is weird to me because you're so smart. I. Uh, that's tough. That's tough to hear. It's tough to hear because school told you you weren't. No, no, it was the opposite. They always told me that I was wasting potential and I was this super smart kid. But yeah, because like, you uh, weren't 
applying yourself. Probably. Right, right. That's yeah. that's what and that's what I'm saying. But it's tough, man, because you grow up hearing that you're this smart, dream genius of a kid, and then you look around and and I couldn't like do simple things like fit in and talk to kids and have. I mean, well, that's a different thing. I wasn't able to have conversations. Should, now, I was, now, now I want you to be a physicist. I think you should go to go to go to Caltech <laughs> because you understand that not. Not un, not having great skill with, and by the way, your social skills are pretty good to me now. Maybe they weren't now, at one time. Yeah, no. But not having those is also associated with really big, good skill in pattern recognition and systematizing. Mm -hmm. I've seen your memory at work, and I've seen your work ethic at work, and I've seen, and I know that people only sleep four or five hours a night tend to get a lot done. So this is where my head's at right now. You see, I'm asking, like, let's get you back into physics and math. Well, you told me, you told me, <laughs> interesting. You know, I figured if I wasn't doing production, I would, nope, I would be a lawyer. I, I figured I would be Did a lawyer. Do you like that? I like uh, breaking rules. Breaking rules is my favorite thing in the world. So you'd like to be like a defense lawyer. I would be a defense yeah. lawyer and I would be and the best defense you lawyer. Probably would. And so, and so it, could you go directly back to law school or would you have to do some undergraduate stuff first? Uh, I mean, I have no idea. I, I've never even considered. Did the, you did you go idea. to undergraduate? No, no. So you'd have no, to no, do no, all no. that first. I would start. From, Maybe from not from though. One. You know, there's all kinds of weird shortcuts. Look at look at Kim Kardashian shortcutting. Right. Less. <laughs> I mean, whatever. But anyway, let me just t toss my. I, I just love to see you get some more education somewhere along your your road. I think it would. Uh, I think it would really be interesting. It's it's. I guess the. I will consider it. it. It's just been, it's always been a tough environment for me because if the goal is getting good grades, then. So go to a pass fail place. Uh -huh. you, there are pass fail places. What is that? Pass fail. Pass fail? You either pass or you fail. No grades. No grades? Yeah, there's such a thing. That exists. That exists. <laughs> Nadav, do me a favor. Look up. I know you're shorthanded back there, but if just, the, just any law schools that uh, are pass fail. Pass fail law schools. Oh, bro, I would destroy which school law schools like are this. pass fail watch well you gotta yeah because i because i was that kid you know you always yeah. hear about the kids that, that Look, uh, yale harvard stanford what pass fail <laughs> i thought so columbia <laughs> nyu berkeley uh oh well, no wait hold on you're telling me that berkeley law let's there's see if i'm no reading it right they were not grade? reading they were not reading it correctly law school yale okay or? yale is famous for basically not having grades but that's somewhat of an exaggeration okay <laughs> Cool. Uh, That's an interesting. Sentence. So anyway, you'd have to study a little further. The, the other thing, there are undergraduate programs that are really cool that are sort of based in philosophy, you know, the symposiums and things that you would love. Christina mm -hmm. would love you to do it too, that have Damn. no grades. So, so you look into no grades because grades are obviously part of the rule thing in your head that you don't like. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to get around it. If, yeah, if the I goal, get, I get you. If you're telling me that all I got to do is get like, I want say, you to understand it, right? camera here, camera. All right. All right. If everybody else have, has to have a bowel movement every day or two, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get around all that. And we're going to have a bowel movement every 30 days. Ha! Ah, gotcha. Thus it's is Eddie. True. That is my friend, Eddie. It's true. This is, this is, his, this is his way of doing things. And I admire it. I must tell you, we got a lot to do today. We're going to get into, I'm going to take over the, the uh, hosting of a job again. Yes, please. We have a game show. We're going to do the game again. What Ooh. do we call the game? I forget. It was either doctor oh. or mommy. Oh, by the way, I sent this to Nadav for you. Did you see this? Longest hum human poop ever recorded. I suggest you get in the running for this. 7.92 meters. A woman in Cranbrook Kingswood High School bowling alley. <laughs> what the hell? So, so, she did so. It with the I, I heard, I oh heard. Oh my God, because it was the only service long enough to record the result. I did not see that. Wait, what? Lou, read it. What about a football field? What do you mean surface long enough to record the result? I guess they're afraid they only hard surface long enough. You know what I mean? They want to really get it. They want to get the maximal distance, right? <laughs> it you can't get kind seep of, into the ground. Right. It might lose a couple inches. <laughs> but uh, but there's, a, there's something for you to aspire to right there. 7.92 meters is like 20 what 22 feet 23 feet i don't know but let me tell you something about shitting a lot because i know a lot about it yeah yeah and it's not about the length because anyone can pinch real hard and make you know a very large shit turn into or a very small shit turn into a very large shit because well, it's like a, it not knows, but the, the pinching at the bottom does not have anything to do with what goes on the rest of the colon the rest of the colon is just kind of doing this it's just going it's just working on it and yeah, but 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 for it to so imagine you had a imagine you had this as the mass, which is relatively now it's probably like double this. Okay. But it so if I this 
you know, confined into a hole this big. I get it, but what's would, backed up? I, oh, I see. You're you're doing the the play doh the yeah, play doh analogy. Exactly. I see. So exactly. so you can make stars and half moons exactly. and all kinds of stuff on your ship, and it's going to be fantastic. longer. <laughs> I see what you're saying. So, what I, so what I when you're how extruding much... it through a smaller hole, mm -hmm. you're going to get a longer. So you have a yes. you have a crazy talented colon because most people have to sort of use the anus to help expel stuff. Your anus work can work against the colon, so you can build that pressure and create that that. Well, I suggest you get in the running for the longest shit because you can make different designs with it the, too. And the thing is, It'll be incredible. But the thing is, it's not about the length. You know, that's that's all cool that she did that. I want to know how much did it weigh. Because oh, now you're talking. Yes, I'd be king. told you this guy. This kid's smart. I told you, and, and so yeah, I agree. How about the whole experience of some lady laying a log down on a bowling alley? Uh, um, that, that whole. I'm not sure I want to see that. Probably you know the least attractive yeah. thing I could possibly yeah, think yeah, of. I would a, agree with you. A girl doing yeah. We have a, a little are you gay if in a second, <laughs> but at first I want to uh, keep the keep the brown conversation going. Let's do it. I've noticed an interesting correlation with my morning bodily functions. Uh, when I wake up, first thing to make yellow, I often do not immediately have to make brown. I will go back to bed for 15 or 20 minutes. Then there's an emergency brown. Uh, again, with the poetry of our listeners. <laughs> Coming down the Hershey Highway to, highway to make a <laughs> massive poo pile. I wonder if the pressure of my expanded bladder is keeping the hot stinky dookies in my butthole for a slightly extended period of time. Do people, they must just wait at home for me to read this stuff. They, oh, they yeah. just love the, hearing oh, these yeah. words. Hearing these words come out of my mouth. Uh, in short, does the pee hold the poop in? Um, kind of and kind of not. Um, you're right that the bladder can, sh show me again the, like a, uh, you know, profile of uh, prostate and uh, you know, those, those they're, they're essentially called sagittal, sagittal cut, pr um, sagittal cut, there, there it is. Okay, so you see how the bladder, that's the the thing to the left of the colon, you see the colon there? Uh, is it making sense? See where the colon. penis tube ends? Uh -huh. Fall out to the end, that's the bladder. And you see okay. how if it were full, it can kind of push back into the colon? You see that? Which part is the colon? Uh, the colon is... Oh, the colon is the big red one? Yes, the okay. big red one that's sort of cut in half. All right. Uh, so you can see the bladder can push back towards the colon. Ah. It can affect and can push down towards the rectum. And so it can create some pressure issues. Um, but also there's a lot, ton of other things that goes on in the morning when you get up and you start moving around and there's peristalsis that gets going and there's a... Y your body is sort of on a timer a little bit, like that sort of does things automatically certain times during the day, and, mm -hmm. right? So yes, there is something to what you're saying, but it's not a big deal. It's interesting. Mine is the opposite. I I always, whenever I take a shit, then I will piss like a like a pee fucking, afterwards. Yeah, like a uh, you know fountain worth of of piss will be after. So it's the opposite huh. for me. Mine so, is so big. So that it there's something probably the by the time you're. I'm guessing by the t the guessing. By the time you're getting to the point where you have multiple pounds of, of shit built up, yeah. you're having to hold down so tight, you're probably holding the urethra too, or at least doing something to the bladder mm. uh, and sort of keeping everything, you know, high and tight. High and tight. This is the original high and tight. The any original high and tight. You already know. Uh, what's up there, Chromos? My boyfriend gets... Chromos? Chromos? Comos? Chomos, Chomos I beg you your go. pardon. Chomos. Chomos. Uh, my boyfriend claims he gets high when he eats me out. Sometimes I can't even get a response for him while he's doing it because apparently he's <laughs> so into it, blocks everything out, and he can't get enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. He likens this to the state of being high, like he feels a sense of warmth and comfort as he eats it all up. Is it even possible, or is he just gassing me all up? Is he gaslighting me? Because uh, if I'm buying it, if not, because I'm not buying it. Oh, because somebody beat me. Gaslighting? Tina. In other words, is he just trying to make her feel like it's so special for him that she'll like it? Yes. He's gaslighting. Yes. It. So it's not that he gets high doing. Some <laughs> guys Some guys do really, really, really dig it. They do love it. I, I guess it would be considered a fetish at that point. Good question. Yeah, fetishistic in the sense that it re it's always good. You know, yeah. It's always a go-to. Mm -hmm. And so to some extent, fetishes are kind of always go-tos. But... Um, Tell me about who would the guys be that are, would not be in this fetish group? That would not be into... The, the Would not be the getting off on my pussy, as she puts it here. That's uh, the title of her. <laughs> lame dudes? Lame dudes. I think Jamaican's dudes are not into this. Jamaican's? Yeah, I'd heard that. There's what? 
I, I Where heard did that. you hear this from? I think from a Jamaican dude. A Jamaican. <laughs> so hold on. I wait. think. I think. I think. Now I'm not. He, he also told me that, that the uh, the period freak him out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, I mean, you know. And, and I think this was sort of a corollary to that, mm. I, or maybe it went in my head that way, and it was I was not true. Ooh. Straighten me out, please. Get, get, um, check, fact check me, everybody. One uh, one thing I do know is Jamaicans are, are usually super. Actually, I had a question about OCD. Yeah. But Jamaicans are usually super OCD. Like uh, Cle- cleanly. If you yeah, if yeah, you look yeah. at Jamaicans like clothing. Yeah, yeah. Not a fucking spot no, no. of lint. Yeah, this is not a wrinkle. And I think this may go in that same category. <sighs> it, it could be that. Yeah, because so that the, could lead into germophobia and stuff. And, germophobia, and they're and they're very. Um, well, let's put it this way. Uh, God. Um, <laughs> Chthonic is the word, I believe. C H T H O N I C. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, look. Why are Jamaican Why is Jamaican? so ignorant to oral sex? I am currently dating a Jamaican guy who wants nothing to do with kissing my private parts, yet he likes when I kiss his parts. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. I didn't say well, that. I didn't say they don't like well, that. <laughs> what's up with that, guys? I can't be the only woman experiencing this. Girls, let's join together and educate these men. Yeah, so there you go. There's some evidence there. Jamaican man, reggae, many Jamaican female friends. Uh, I've heard from most Whew. Jamaican men don't do cunnilingus. Yeah, so I'd heard this. I'd heard this, and and I let's put it this way: I talked to a Jamaican guy who didn't like this and didn't like, and the period was off limits. Man, that was that was worse. Wow, that I did really, not know this. No, no, no. This is news to me. Um, look up the word chthonic. C H T H O N I C. C H T H. It sounds like C-H. the word. No, no. C H T H. There it is. Chthonic. Concerning belonging to the underworld. Yeah. Chthonic. I swear, you just be making up words. No, that's it. You, it's, you, it's you concerning probably... belonging to or inhabiting the underworld. And it sort of means like the soup of nature. Chthonic, it's called. Like like you descend into this into this bog. Like and, demonic? No, just like the chthonic. underworld. Like well, you might put that association in your head like like scary nature. You know what I mean? Like mm. you're you're descending into some swamp. A swamp is sort of a chthonic, you know, oh. environment. And, and uh, I, when I've spoken to my Jamaican friends about this, they sort of have that vibe about kind of lingus. Wow. Almost like they're going to get sucked up into it. They're wow. Like, too, too much, too much. I wonder and where I that wonder, comes from. Well, and I wonder if that comes with the cleanliness thing too. So it's chthonic is out, orderly, what they'd say, Apollonian, linear, you know, is in. Interesting. Do not judge everybody. Everybody's got different things they're into. It's just, it's just interesting what humans choose to be into. Seriously. We should, I, this is a point for me to make. We should enjoy the spectrum of what humans are into and like and, and try to understand them and it, uh, what would the word, uh, celebrate it all. Celebrate it all. Now, not when they hurt other people, and you can debate whether or not doing kind of lingus is hurtful to somebody, but that's between the couple. Well, but, if they're bad at it. Yeah, especially <laughs> that. But, but I would just say that we should appreciate the full spectrum of humanity so long as people don't hurt each other. Well, if you have multiple credit cards, you know that tracking multiple balances and due dates and website logins is stressful. Upstart makes things simple with one monthly payment in one place. Upstart is the fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt all online. Whether it's to pay off credit cards, consolidating high interest rate debt, or funding personal expenses, over a half million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners because they assess more than just your credit score. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from $1,000 to $50,000. You can get approved the same day and receive funds as fast as one business day. If debt is taking over your life, it is time to get a fresh start with Upstart. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash Dr. Drew. That again is upstart.com slash Dr. Drew. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. So go to upstart.com slash Dr. Drew. Well, you've heard me talk about Liquid IV and the popular hydration mix, of course. Their energy multiplier is their new game changer. 2020 has been rough. It's time to clean the slate and start 2020 off right. One stick of the energy multiplier is like drinking two cups of coffee and it's an all natural alternative to the processed energy drinks for sustained energy boost throughout the day. Half American report they struggle with fatigue and the liquid IV energy multiplier could be the answer for you. Now, liquid IV is great tasting. It's available. Uh, they have different products. They'll find, you'll find something that is right for you. And people don't pay enough attention to hydration. They think they do because they're drinking energy drinks or, or, 
um, sport drinks, but many of them don't have the necessary electrolytes such as you find in Liquid IV. Liquid IV has clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. It's convenient packaging, and they're on a mission to change the world. They have donated over 10 million servings globally. In response to COVID-19, over 4 million products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active U.S. military. And hydration is very important during COVID. Let me tell you, I use Liquid IV. Grab your energy Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off by just going to liquidiv.com. Use the code Dr. Drew, D R D R E W, at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code Dr. Drew at liquidiv.com. Start fueling your adventures today at liquidiv.com, promo code Dr. Drew. Here's a kinky wife that loves to indulge in my fantasies. Recently, I shared a story with my husband about a woman who started lactating by using a breast pump and vitamins. My husband doesn't want to feed from them, but he thought of lactating. Okay. Uh, I hadn't. <laughs> Does lactating breast turn you on anyway? You like that? Hell no. Uh -uh. I, it's one I don't get. That's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm usually not the person to say something's gross, but that's gross to me. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just, it's not gross. It's just sort of not literally and figuratively not for me. Yeah, same, same. That is for some, that is for a child and not for me. <laughs> uh, I feel gas. Can't sleep because of farts going around my under my rib cage. Eventually, I farted <laughs> so out. I, so I think I answered this one last week, but it, this is for you. Uh, uh, I've tried a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Why? Forget the baking soda. Various baking over the counter is no luck. I've tried Benafiber, which might have helped a little, then Benamucil, but I think it made it worse. It's not really pain, just pressure. I'm terrified something will pop in there. <laughs> Oatmeal for breakfast, incredibly stressed at work right now. Okay, so you have irritable bowel, Frank, essentially, and uh, things do not pop in your colon. They're designed to take all that gas and, and crampiness. Um, stay with the Benafiber. That's a good idea. Metamucil sometimes makes it worse, but usually better. Try some, uh, remember we talked about Gas-X. Christina and I talked about Cymethicone, Gas-X. So try Gas-X, and then talk to your bowel, doctor about the treatment of irritable bowel. There's some treatments out there. You can try some antispasmodics, Bentol, Donatol, all that good stuff. So, jeez, your bowels are, is a is a Ferrari. My bowels are great. Here's yeah. the if anybody wants a good diet. Look, you want to look like me? Yeah. I'm super skinny for a reason. Yeah, it's because of the shit holding for sure. The Guaranteed. shit holding. It's got to be. Right? It could just be genetically skinny. Nah. I keep going. All right. Here's what I want everybody to do: pound of cheese a day, lots of pizza, bread, lots of that. Remember all the, all these no this carb is gonna diets. Make, this is going to make you skinny. Flip that. Yes. Oh boy. Lots of bread, lots of cheese, no exercise. I, God, I God is good else. to any. God is good to any. That's all I'm saying. Take, careful where you take your advice. If, if God is good to you too, probably you can be fine with that. Uh, let's see. Yes. Right, right, oh, no, go no, ahead. No, no, keep going. No, Come on. I, I forgot. We're not, we're not, we're doing the, the, the voicemails, right? Is there, is there, we're, we're not voicemails. Well, emails. I'm just my last one, right? All right. You can ask your question. Then I'll ask uh, I'm an avid Brown enthusiast. I, I figure the Brown we ought to focus on for you just a little bit. Dropped tremendous shits almost my whole life. Recently, I turned 21. And since that day, every time I take an absolute banger of a Brown, I start tearing up. <laughs> uh, I can't tell if this is a male or female. I use my tushy and gently exfoliate my chocolate starfish with cut up loofahs and leave my shit. Th what the hell is he talking about? Uh, I cannot, it's bothering me, the, uh, <laughs> dude, it's gotta be a male. Uh, I like to relax while dropping my browns. I like to take my coffee in there with me. I listen to music, helps me relax, kind of decompress. I get all that. Um, <laughs> he knows it's running and all that. He, he, so he wants to know why to, uh, look, uh, essentially what you're saying is uh, you're getting a, kind of an arousal from this uh, and that's your vessels are dilating. And uh, I have no good, ex I have no good answer for you there. Except, I mean, uh, it sounds like he would do well with some fingers in the old uh, in the back door, probably, right? In order to get him used to it. No, I'm just saying he's saying that he enjoys it. So right, he might. Okay, so here's yes, yes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, right? N nothing. I would say that, I, and he's onto something here, which is turn shit into Devonshire cream. We can do that by now getting into the anal play. De Devonshire cream? It's a very sweet, lovely cream. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you turn. go. So, so it, it is. Uh, it, you you can start to explore that area. Maybe you'll you'll overcome this uh, tendency to 
um, have that kind of arousal in response to this. So I don't. I really don't know. I really don't know. I, need, I would need a bunch more information. So what do you want to ask me? I just can't understand why you'd want to change that. It's like if it feels good, what's the? He, why well, no, they, he's bothered by the fact that he can't relax because his nose is running and his eyes are tearing. He wants to get over that. Oh. So it's it's the physical response he wants to improve. So he can oh. sit there and listen to music and drink his coffee. Oh, just come. Just, that, I mean, if it feels that good, I don't, it's I'm making not sure, you cry. I'm not sure it's that kind of arousal. I'm uh, not sure. But good, good, good thought. Good thought. I, I, Sign I, off I'm on just, it. I'm just trying to solve problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, just, yeah. Trying to solve, I'm just trying to help. So, yeah, your question. Uh, my question, um, I forgot because I have ADHD and it really You have ADHD, sucks. but your memory is solid. I know that. I, I, you know, you said that earlier and I don't, I remember what I was going to say. See? See, that's the ADHD See? coming you just, I just, you, you, What you need is a lot of people going, any of you're smart, any of your memory's good <laughs> because you had so many people God. not telling you that evidently or something, but go ahead. Go ahead. <sighs> um, did you know mm. that... Uh, Every time you open the show, you say your name of your show incorrectly. Did you know that? Every time you start the show, you say, hey, everybody. Actually, could you say it right now? It's Dr. Drew After Dark. Oh, so you said it You said it slow this time. Every time you, you start the show, you say, hey, everybody, welcome to Dr. Drew After Dark. Yeah. You say Dr. Drafter. Oh, I run Dr. it all together. Yeah, all, to, that all sounds like as me. one. Yeah. It was, uh, it's something I've always noticed, and it's something I've always wanted to ask you. Yeah. Uh... I'm in a hurry I'm to editing. get that out. Yeah. Okay. I'll pay attention. Thank you. It's a good note. Good note. I'll pay attention to, because I think the name is worthwhile putting out there. After all, that's what we're doing here. It's Dr. To. Drew after dark. Yeah. I have, um, I've noticed as I've aged particularly, I have certain stuff like uh, I, had, I had to read an, uh, some copy that had the word cellular in it like three times in a row. Like cellular immunity, cellular this. And it's just my tongue doesn't have the couldn't say it doesn't have the same i don't know alacrity it used but to you have. just said it correctly right i now. did i oh. but it must be when i'm reading something in a longer form it mm. fatigues or something i, I don't know hmm. and again if i pay attention and slow slow down i'll probably be better off um let's see we got so many good things we're going to do today we're going to do a doctor or mommy game we are uh, oh yeah we is yeah we oh, are yeah. but i thought i'm in the mood for some uh, clips aren't you let's do it yeah a couple clips clippies uh, well, why don't we just go to Are You Gay If? We'll just start out with that, shall we? So before we before we get into it, let me just ask you if you, because I asked you if, if you heard of this and you said no. So yeah. just based, just no context. Yeah. If you have sex with a man. Are you gay? Are you gay? So in my world, and now I know there's debate about this, right? There's mm -hmm. sort of DL stuff and fluidity and all these things. In my experience, um, men who have sex with men, which is the technical category, uh, not exclusively, by the way, there are some guys that are not gay and have men have sex with men, but it's pretty unusual. In my experience, they're either unwilling, like literally will not think about the possibility that's really what they're into. They're mm -hmm. just unwilling to do it, even though it's clearly what they're into. Um, or they're on their way, as Coral used to call it, half mo. <laughs> so, so they're content. They're moving towards a, a more. And most gay men will say that too, right? That's getting gay men get in trouble with people that uh, demand that sexual fluidity be a thing. Uh, so, it's just not been my experience. I'm not saying that. Of course, humans are infinitely complex. I'm sure there are people out there that are just fluid and can do this. It's not been my experience. So, so you're saying that you're either, uh, based on on what you've seen, you are either gay or going towards being gay. You're on the way. Yeah, you're yeah. Way you're there. gay, and you don't do not want to even look at it, or you're uh, you're beginning to contend with it, and you're on your way over there. Got it. Okay. And, and really, kind of, there are simple things to ask, like what porn do you get off on most? You know, is and, it gay porn? Is it gay porn? And, hmm. and what who, what are you most? And you'll often hear you'll hear people going, "Well, I love women, but I like having sex with men." And they they compartmentalize it in all kinds of interesting ways. And it, the, it and again, I guess the, the 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 most accurate way I can say this is it rarely is a set phenomenon when it's like that. You know what I mean? It's it keeps moving. It keep it keeps kind of changing and moving and. You know, like, like, it sounds like what you're saying. Like is my sexual orientation does not move. It is mm. what it is. And when somebody has this kind of stuff, it, it, and the w direction it usually moves is towards gay. That's usually the direction. It moves. But I thought you said you liked musicals. 
I'm the gayest straight man there is. I told you that. <laughs> I, I've been very clear about that. I am as gay as you can get and still be straight. Do you, do you understand me? You get it, right? <laughs> I, I do you. like musicals. I like them a lot. I got you. Okay, so and uh, so so and our, when I was our... sick, I was watching tap dancing videos <laughs> for some reason and other dance videos. So <laughs> yeah. So our friend uh, Doctor Court, Doctor Joe Court. He had a uh, different idea of uh, okay. Let's hear it of gayness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi there. My name is Dr. Joe Court, and I'm going to give you reasons why straight men have sex with men. They're not gay. They're not bisexual. My whole um, specialty is with male sexual fluidity, and um, what I always say is that when women have a non-heterosexual thought, we give her wiggle room, but we fetishize her. When men have a non-heterosexual thought, we stigmatize him and we tell him he's not straight. False, wrong, I really want to get rid of this myth. I really want to get rid of this stigma. And if you stay with my TikTok, you're going to hear all the reasons why straight men have sex with men. I'll see you later. Okay, well, I, I agree with all that. Mm. We, we shouldn't be stigmatizing men for this. And, and I don't think we really do anymore. I don't, I don't think so. And, and we do fetishize women that, that go down that path. We Absolutely. Yeah. So I agree with pretty much everything he says so, thus far. Uh, and, and it's interesting. Now, remember, in my opening comments, I said, in my experience, mm -hmm. I don't specialize in men, male fluidity. He's, he's seeing that population that I don't probably see, right? And so is there more to this? Uh, I'd love I, to see what, what he actually, what are the reasons? I think he does keep going, yeah. Do we have some of the but reasons? I, but I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. The reason okay. straight men have sex with men is a fantasy called cuckolding. This is where a cuckold is a, a husband who's been cheated on. Um, that's where the term comes from. The wife turns you, you to him and says, you're no longer no. sexually uh, satisfying me. Sorry. I'm going to find a guy who does. And she gets a guy who's called the bull. So in this erotic fantasy that's power exchange and play and very satisfying and pleasurable to all members, the cuckold's job as a submissive man is to get them both excited so that the two man and woman have sex with each other in front of him. He may masturbate watching them. He may be made fun what of. There it? might be some humiliation play. In the end, in the orgasm, the cuckold's job is to clean them both up. There's sexual interaction between the two men from the beginning until the end. But if the woman isn't there or the woman doesn't show up, the two men are left cold. The woman must be present in this fantasy for it to work. This is how it works with a cuckolding fantasy. So, so what he's saying is that uh, cuckolding is not gay. That, that's an example of, of a uh, sexual activity that involves more than one man that is not considered Yeah, but he's not gay. having sex with the guy. That's Correct. A, he's, he's not. He's I, humiliating his wife. Right. I, and any, any straight male will tell you that, which makes me wonder about Dr. What is his name? Dr. Joe Court. Dr. Court. Uh, but wait, there's more. Okay, okay. Another reason straight men will engage in uh, having sex with other men is fraternity initiations, so well described in the book Not Gay, Sex Between Straight White Men by Jane Ward. She basically tries to talk about, from a sociological point of view, why do these straight men in fraternities put fingers in each other's butts, urinate on each other, uh, get <laughs> naked, um, so engage hum in humiliation. what we call homosexual sex acts, but they're left alone. Nobody's ever saying these dudes are really gay and are they closeted and what's going on with them. She talks very eloquently about what she thinks is going on. For these men, it's required sex. And so based on that, they, they're, they engage in it, but then they have a disgust response. And the yes. more disgusted they are, yeah. the more it reinforces their heterosexuality. The oh, part that's of being white, that's they go unnoticed. Nobody ever accuses them of being gay or bisexual. These are straight boys having fun. Are you seeing yet <laughs> that none of this Just is about fun. being gay or bisexual? Just but but I agree with him that the humiliation is the goal, right? And it's interesting how that would reinforce heterosexuality. That's kind of interesting. But but uh, they are torturing. <laughs> That's what their goal is. To, yeah. to, to be as torturing as possible <laughs> as a way of bonding them to their male peers. Uh, I'm not aware. I, I'm sure it happens, but I'm not aware of any actual you a sexual contact or, or, or nothing about it. In there, no, I've heard I, of masturbation and stuff as part of it, which is always a little bit on the weird side. I've definitely, side. I've definitely never peed on my homeboys. Yeah. Well, they do that. I know they do that kind of thing, but that's not that's it's like peeing on a you know on a on a slain knight after you chop their head off. It's a way of humiliating them. 
Wait, wait, but you're saying, but not in a sexual way? Not in a sexual way. To wait be, a to minute. Humiliate. It's you're possible to pee on somebody just to humiliate them, not to be sexual. But hold on. You're telling me that if you peed on your, on your homeboy, you'd just be doing that out of like, yeah, like, uh, I'm stronger than you. You would do that? It, it, that's what the initiation's about. Oh, because he, he's yeah. talking about like hazing and, yes, and call yes, it. Oh, got it, yes, got it. Yes, yes. I was, I was out of the. No, no, it. no, not like my friend. Yes. Like, hey, buddy, I want to. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I was no, like, I, so in I, a fight. <laughs> he, 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 what bothers me about stuff like this is that they don't, they don't see these things in a. T so much of what's going on right now is that people don't understand the arc and the course of these things. They don't see people across a, a lifespan, and these people that and these people, people that have certain behaviors at point A. It evolves over time. And the way I'm most acutely aware of this is in addiction, where they, they have all kinds of ridiculous ideas about addiction on the assumption that it just stays where it is. It doesn't. It never stays where it is. Right. It progresses. And the same thing is true with some of these other behaviors. There, there are things that... And so the cuckolding, for instance, I get to see those couples later. It doesn't go well. Mm. Doesn't, it's not, oh, playful, everyone's having a good time. It does not end up well. It does not stay does spicy. Not. That, that and, always and, ends. And the other thing about all of this is that people always, once they get into these very intense situations where boundaries are porous, they have feelings they don't expect. And that destabilizes the primary relationship. Right. It just does. Now, not saying that there aren't people that can't do it. And please write in and tell us about your stories. I mean, we love to read about people who are successfully doing these things. And uh, But I, in my experience, I just don't see it last. Again, that uh, it's Dr. After Dark at gmail.com or voice messages. Let's see a voice message. Let's hear a voice message. Let's do it. Hey, Dr. Jeans. I got a question about when there's red in your wife. Mm. Um, sometimes mm. I notice that when I masturbate or when I'm having sex with my wife, there'll be a little bit of blood in my wife. My wife thinks it's because I pump her too vigorously. I think it's because I masturbate too much about <laughs> Three or four times a day. Oh, um, can you man. tell me which one of us are right, or if neither one of us are right, and I have cancer? Uh, thank you very much. Long time listener. I like that. That's that's option C. Or I just have cancer. Yeah, we like is your style, that? dude. We like it. Um, uh, you didn't keep. Uh, you didn't give me the the choice that is in fact the truth, which is both of you are right. Uh, the vigorous masturbation and the vigor in the bedroom can irritate things and cause bleeding, either from the prostate or the urethra. Uh, even sometimes in the uh, seminal vesicles, there can be things that go haywire or prostate. And uh, blood in the urine, uh, hematospermia, that's called, is actually rather common, and it rarely is significant. It rarely means something dangerous. It is always important to get it evaluated because, as you say, it could be cancer or something. But it's usually not, especially in, particularly in young people. But he said blood in his white. In his sperm. Yeah. Yeah, hematospermia. Oh, I thought you, oh, I thought you said blood in your urine. I, I may have. I may have oh, said oh, that. I'm sorry. Blood in the urine... I, I, I beg your pardon. See, this is the COVID shit that goes on with ah. me. If, if blood in the urine is a much more serious thing, actually blood in the urine is a really serious thing because it is, first of all, one of the signs that something bad is going on in your kidney. Most common thing would be kidney stone, but there can be pyelonephritis. There can be, um, glomer this, this is a word my tongue doesn't do well with, glomerulonephritis, Ugh. glomerulonephritis. Um, and you can have bladder cancers and, and urethral problems. A lot of stuff goes bad when there's bleeding in the urine. Bleeding in the white, not such a big deal, interestingly. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? I've never had it. Never had bleeding in the white? No, never. Well, good. Lucky. I definitely would panic. I would think I was dying tomorrow, for sure. There would be <laughs> would no you option see a doctor? B or C. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Of course not. The <laughs> what am I, crazy? You'd say. <laughs> All right, another voice message. <laughs> Oh, I got a question for you. Later. Okay, good. Yeah. And we'll hey, do Doc, Dr. Amon. I have crippling anxiety. Oh. And recently I've been running a lot, like uh, jogging about two miles a good, day. Good. And my anxiety is gone. I just want to know, like, how is that tied together? Can you explain that? Yes. To me? It, like how? Yes. Like I'm real chill. All, good. All day, every day. Excellent. Hell yeah, man. It's good for you, man. So yes, exercise has been associated with uh, decreased anxiety, writing in particular. It, it is, uh, the way to think about this, it's like setting your autonomic tone. You know, your body has this sympathetic nervous system that gets overcharged with anxiety. And by running, you sort of re, it can reset it in certain ways. Your pulse goes down with running. Your sort of um, muscle tone changes in certain ways. Your blood supply, you know, blood flow changes in different parts of your body. So it's a way of, 
most people are, it's not as dramatic as in what, what you're describing. And it's great that you're having that effect. Um, but it, it makes perfect sense physiologically with what's going on with running and what goes on with anxiety. So good for you. And anxiety has a funny way of sort of perpetuating itself. In other words, anxiety makes more anxiety. And if you can learn to do right. things without anxiety, there, there's sort of a behavioral component to anxiety. Um, it's very prominent in phobias. Like if you can learn to fly without fear, guess what? Your fear of flying goes away. It's kind of a, you sort of learn to walk through life without anxiety. Your running has helped you do that. Now it starts to dissipate even more. So, well, you've heard me speak before about our friends at BetterHelp. Uh, obviously it's online counseling. I've sent patients. I've had family members use them, friends use them. Everybody comes back with glowing reviews. So BetterHelp offers online professional counselors who can listen and help. All you do is simply fill out a questionnaire to assess your needs and BetterHelp will match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is online professional counseling. BetterHelp counselors have a broad range of expertise, which can be available in your area or not. The service is available, however, for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime, send unlimited messages to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. Everything you share, of course, completely confidential. You won't ever have to sit in an awkward waiting room again or make appointments that way and have to drive to your point. Zoom has made everything quite different. Now, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Dr. Drew After Dark listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash after dark. Visit betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash after dark and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced BetterHelp professional. Next up, Bright Cellars, the wine subscription service that helps you find wines you love while making wine more accessible to everyone. I... I enjoy these guys, I must tell you. Bright Cellars is the only wine subscription that provides personalized wine matches and service based on your taste preferences. That's right, they do a little quiz. I'll tell you about it. It's a 30-second quiz. Bright Cellars then pairs you with six unique and personalized wines by taking their seven-question quiz. It's quick, it's easy, only seven questions, and I'm kind of persnickety. They got it just right. Bright Cellars will pair you with six unique and personalized wines. I, I, I As I was filling out the quiz, I thought, oh, how are they going to figure this out? They nailed it. You can skip an order whenever you need. Bright Cellars delivers based on your schedule. And each Bright Cellars box offers a unique wine experience, including education cards, which I kind of enjoy. The education cards are about the region of each wine, tasting notes, serving temperatures, food pairings. I mean, I'm kind of a, I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand wines that well. I, it's nice to look like you do, and the wine education certainly makes you look like you're informed. They are premium wines. Bright Cellars members also get access to the exclusive wines from private wine labels. And for Dr. Draft Dark listeners, we are giving you 50% off your first six bottle order from Bright Cellars. Incredible deal. Go to brightcellars.com slash after dark to get that deal. It is Bright Cellars spelled B-R-I-G-H-T C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com slash after dark. And you can take their seven question quiz to get your wine matches and receive 50% off your first six bottle order. Incredible. Grab your passport and travel the world of wine by heading to brightcellars.com slash after dark for 50% off your first Bright Cellars box. Good. What's your question? My question, uh, well, it was about something that I wouldn't have gone to the doctor for, but. Uh, uh oh, what are you going to uh, show me? Uh, here we go. So this right here, do you see that? I see it. So I have those. See? Yeah. So I have those. They're starting to pop up. Yeah, that's an old, old one. I, I need to see a it new one. It is old. I need to see uh, that. Are they are they pu they like little zits? They are they pustular? Uh no, they they like just you scrape the head off. Does a little pus then come out or fluid? Not, I don't think it's it's pus. It's just like a red spot. Like it's just red. It's just a red spot. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So it's a it's what we call an asymmetric papular rash. Uh, Does that mean herpes? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I you have to show me a. Let's uh, <laughs> do with herpes. That's all I care about, man. If it's uh, cancer, I don't care. If it's, no, it's just don't want like herpes. No, it's more typical dude. thing would be actually medication. Medication? Uh, is there anything you're taking oh. that's new or different? Um, I, well, I stopped taking medication like a month ago or something. What was that? Uh, God. Oh, 
horrible. What was it for? Uh, it was, I think, antidepressant. Okay. It was a, uh, oh shit, Wellbutrin. Okay. Wellbutrin. Yeah, that, that uh, Wellbutrin could have caused it. I wonder oh. if it triggered it and maybe it didn't go away and they've stopped it. Ah, uh, yeah, because I just, I just forgot, so I just don't take it anymore. Yeah. I, let's have they reduced in number and frequency? No, I just, I just forgot to. No, take no, it. I mean the that rash. Oh no, more. More now. Yeah, more have come. Is there any, any new vitamins or anything? Not except the ones you told me to take. Yeah, maybe stop Zinc that. And... Yeah, stop that for a little while. See if it doesn't oh. make go away. Shit, okay. Yeah, I mean, you're over your COVID. You're fine. You don't have to worry about it so much. So I don't need vitamins. It, you know, it's not a bad idea to take vitamin D, right? That's a good one for us, for everybody. Uh, vitamin C, also not a bad idea. The zinc, I'm, I'm a little worried about. Where there's a lot okay. of zinc being taken these days, and uh, it can affect copper metabolism. I can see where it could cause a rash like that, possibly. Mm. So just for the sake of... Seeing if the rash goes away, just stop now and see see what happens. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, I, I I associate that kind of thing more with medication than anything else. So, I mean, there's other stuff. You got you got to show me one of the a new one when we get out of here. Okay, I will. Yeah, so, uh, okay, mommy or doctor? Oh boy! All right, who I'm wants not... to start? Uh, why don't I start Already? since I'm gonna know none of these doctor terms because I don't really. I'm the I'm show. not so great with the with the mommy terms either. I'm really not good. All right, I switched to a random one, believe it or not. Okay. You, they, they won't believe me, but uh, you say a lot of big words on this show, and uh, I want to know if you know what big words <laughs> means. Nikov likes this. What big words? It's called big words. You say a lot of them on the show, but not this one, luckily. <laughs> the, this one, it's, it refers to one word? Uh, yeah, yeah. One particular word. Big words. Or big word. It's big words. I don't know. You I don't give know? up. No. Is it there a was, clip we can watch? Is there a clip? No clip. There's no right. clip. Tell me. Uh it's a very old. I got shown it um I think probably my first day here because just as like a warning, like if you hear, <laughs> if you hear this, just know this is what it means. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a uh, reference to a thing on the show. Big words was this uh, little girl. Was she, uh, no, not autistic. She was, uh, she had Tourette's, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this little girl had Tourette's and there was a clip of her going around just saying a bunch of stuff. And then she said the N word a few times Oh. to a black woman. I believe. Oh. And when she was, they were like interviewing her and like, why do you say those things? She's just like, yeah, sometimes I don't know what I say. Like I say a lot of big words. And, okay. I love it. Yeah. And, I like uh, it. And I so, think, I think she said big words such as, and then said it. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so big words means, uh, I get it. I love word. that. I, I thank you for <laughs> alerting. I need to be schooled on some of these things. You never know. Right. <laughs> I do not want to put those words, big words in my mouth. No, you don't. <laughs> so, you I do not. I do don't. not wish to. I have no interest in that. Uh, sigmoid. This is an easy one to start with. Sigmoid. It's, it's an easy one, he says. Uh, Sigmoid. Yeah. Is that that guy that got like mauled by the tiger or no, some shit? I, no. Is that what that is? Well, what is it? That was, uh, what was his first name? <laughs> uh, that was... Uh, Siegfried. Siegfried. Siegfried, Siegfried. Siegfried uh, and close. Roy. I was close. Sigmoid. I like how your brain works. <laughs> uh, Sigmoid. Um, it's, a, it's a, all right, I'm going to shoot from it's, the hip. It's, I, if I give you the full... This is not even a clue because it's going to screw you up even more. But if I give you, it's associated with another word. And if I give you that word, I will eventually give it to you. We'll give it away. Okay. Because it's sort of, it's a part of, I'll give you hints. Okay. Um, it's a part of the body that you have great interest in. I don't, no, you couldn't, you, you, you couldn't mean that. You put good energy and preoccupation into this part of your body. Mm. And it, it's not your penis. I'm going to say... It's, uh, <laughs> let me just, uh, is it like a, is it hemorrhoids basically? No, it's, uh, no, it's the real terminology is the, the sigmoid colon, the sigmoid colon. I give up. I don't know. You just saw a picture of the sigmoid colon. A picture of the, sig it's just the ass. No, the, the, uh, the, the, that body cut in half that we saw. Yeah. Uh, the, the the red part that you pointed out uh -huh. that was the sigmoid colon oh and, that's... and the rectum it's the big s see that at the bottom there look at the one on the right hand corner that's about the easiest one to look at 
Uh, yeah, give them that one. So the sigmoid colon is that S at the end that goes into the rectum. Oh. The sigmoid colon. Oh, so there, it's just a, it's a part of the It's, a part, it's the last okay. part of the colon before the rectum. Got it. And uh, it's it's a little, it's kind of tricky in terms of its blood supply and it's it has a big curve associated so when you're doing colonoscopies and things. You got to get past that. And, mm. Yeah, it's good times, right? No, no never going to happen. <laughs> no colonoscopies never for gonna... you. Hell no. Why? No, I don't even let girls do it. You think I'm going to let a doctor do it? Uh -uh. You're asleep. No You're chance. completely asleep, my friend. Yeah, well, you just don't tell me then. Just do it and right. don't tell me. Right. You have to prepare for it, though, in order mm -hmm. to be able to look around there. Yeah, just tell me I'm preparing for something else. At 50, my friend. Does <laughs> anybody in your family have colon cancer? I don't know. I don't, I don't At ask. 50, we'll get you a colonoscopy. Mm. You got some time. You got some time. What else mm. you got there? Mommy. All right, so the mommy word. I like big words. I, I mean, I don't like big words. I like I like knowing what big words means. So I'm sorry, Nadav. I don't like big words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a, that one is either. I just saw it. Why don't we go ahead and ISO that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh no! Got you. Uh, oh no. Let's go with this one. I don't know if you were, if you were uh, active for this era, but... Uh, I, I, I like the fact that you're educating me, though, about the early years. This is yes. good. Yes. Well, this one is, is more recent. You, you were definitely around, but I don't know if you were involved. The turkey slicer. Yeah, I saw that you had that coming, and I, uh -huh. I, I, I looked at it, and I... The turkey slicer. You cheated. The turkey slicer. Like somebody's... Uh, I, I wonder how dark and macabre that the turkey slicer goes you understand it's not it's actually not dark it is um hmm how do i give a clue without giving it away it was a uh it was a a its signature for uh oh my god i actually forgot his name Oh, Whoa. it was a signature for one of our four stroke guys or something or No, it was a early, early... it was a it was a it was a wrestler. Uh, uh, it was like a move, a wrestling move? I mean I I'll put wrestling move, but I have no idea. Go, tell it, me. It was a wrestling move yes. and it was by our beloved uh I forgot the name though. Mystic Rick. Mystic Rick. Oh, uh, I'd love to see these videos. Mystic Rick. Oh. You didn't know about Mystic Rick? No. Oh man. We do we you, have a clip from Mystic, Mystic Rick? Do you have a Mystic Rick for me? No, I don't have that. Oh, uh, next time, next show, or a couple shows from now, maybe. I'm I'm bad at giving clues. I, I basically All right. gave it away. Uh, fistula. Fistula. I'm fistula. I'm afraid of what you're going to do with this one. Well, I'm obviously thinking about fisting. I figured. But that can't be that. No. That's too easy. Yes. I know these questions. These mm. are trick questions. Fistula. This actually is a medical problem, but it does not involve fisting. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an enlarged esophagus is well, what it it's is. Well, that's a nice guess. I like that, but no. It's a, it's the, you're, I don't know. Give me a couple more. Just, you're in the zone. You're, you're in the uh, right system, the GI system, for the most part. I'm, I'm in, oh, I'm in the right, okay. Sort of. I mean, it, it can be other things, but, you know. The esophagus. Uh, it's a, a, a bump in the Ooh. stomach. Uh, bump. Meaning what? Meaning a tumor? No. Sure. All right. It's it's it, it it's hard to define. It's it's a it's a essentially like when you get an abscess, it will form a tract that will come to the surface, and that's an an open connection, a fistula. It's like a connection between things that aren't supposed to be connected. Oh. Yeah. And it, uh -huh. it usually happens because of infection. Like it starts, the infection starts burrowing, and then the, you're, you know, you get. So uh, then bacteria from like one... Rectovaginal fistulas, and all of a sudden you're having stool uh, in your vagina. Uh, cool. Or a rectovesicular uh, fistulas, and you're having stool in your bladder. All right. Or fistulas that come to the surface, and your bowel's kind of opening up to the world. Yeah, let's hey, go to the next It is good one. times. It yep. is good times. Let's this is what not. medicine's all about. <laughs> We're going to do videos in a second, guys. Clean, clean your palate. Give me one uh, more, Mommy. All right, one more. All right, this one. All right, you got to know this one. All right, maybe. Saka souffle. Oh yeah, right. Saka so so souffle. I knew that. Okay. That is Gary King responding to the great Tom Segura. Uh, Who? Uh, uh, excuse me. Wow, Larry King. <laughs> so, so this is COVID, man. This is the, remember when I said it's uncanny and weird. It's just stuff happens to me. It's replacing letters. It just stuff. Just either either I, I can't remember or can't find things uncannily, like you know my wife's name or something, or I just do stuff like that. Things come out of my mouth that 
that are ridiculous. Like Mark Wahlberg. Larry King responding to the great Tom Sizemore. The word is chocolate souffle, but Larry can't quite get that out. Hold Wait, on. Tom Hold Sizemore? On. What did I say? You said Tom Sizemore. Oh my God, Tom Segura. See, this Drew. is... This is, I'm telling you, True. This is the, and and it's got to, and it's getting worse. It's getting worse, not better. This is COVID. It's I don't do this normally. This is all since I've done. I've always had a little tendency to, to kind of stuff coming out of my mouth if I'm not careful. I can't. I got to be careful. But since COVID, it's gotten a lot worse. And not and and when I was more sick, like more neurologically impaired, this wasn't happening. This is Whoa. somehow part of the healing process or something. So 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 yeah. what else, what else? Is, I have to I have to pay careful attention to everything I'm doing, or I'll just do something silly. So it's um so it's it's long term memory, not short term memory that you're losing, yeah? Uh like from this? Yeah. My like short term memory is good, right? If you gave me something to memorize, I could memorize it. Mm. But once I try to file it, it doesn't stay very well. And Whoa. and but and but and this is this seems to be more of a attentional thing. Like like I if I'm not paying close attention, which I yeah. guess I probably maybe my attention is sort of fading. I, I don't know which, either whether it's the word word initiation and a finding mechanism that's just throwing shit in or my attentional mechanisms are dropping or both. So well, watch out for what I say. God only knows. I mean, someone who... And, and I'm noticing, you know, we talked a little bit about pronouncing words and stuff. I feel yeah. a little slurry. Like my tongue's not as... I mean, yeah. from, from someone who's, uh, you know, from another person who I feel like brain works 10,000 miles a minute. I mean, I see you, you s always speak fast, you act yeah. fast, yep. you work all the time. Yep. So I can imagine you've, you've grown comfortable to doing stuff like what you're doing right now, yeah, you yeah. know, as fast as you're doing. Yeah. It yeah. And it normally is, works. Not working right. anymore. Not working yeah. right now. It's, it's, it's almost like I'm a, a runner or something and I'm, I keep tripping or something like that. It feels kind of like that mechanism. So watch mm. out for what I might say, who knows, but it'll make for great drops. Man, I am never going to not call Tom, Tom Sizemore now. Tom That's Segura. his name. So once again, chocolate souffle, soccer souffle was Larry King trying to say chocolate souffle in response to the great Tom Segura. Yes. But you know you what's really, you know, what's interesting about how my brain works is that there are certain things that get filed. There must be a neurological mechanism for this where they get filed in a very close zone. So Sizemore and Segura are somehow in a close memory slot. Yeah, I was about right? to ask where did yeah. Sizemore even come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's, it's, it's something it's 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 strictly random to the names, hmm. not in terms of what I feel or think or you know know them to be. Enough of that, everybody. Let's get to some fun here. Let's get some. Uh, let's get an up. Is this you sure that I had an III update last last show? I demanded it. Is there another III update? There sure is. All right, let's have it. Oh boy, I don't think I've even seen this. I don't switch my image. Oh, y'all looking so good. Oh, look yeah, y'all making me up. nervous. I'm telling you, girl. Like you booted like a watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, they don't have no teeth in that watermelon. But that woman, that blind headed woman, yeah, with that man. I don't know their name. But ooh, baby. <laughs> Your booty look like some gun flag guy. <laughs> what? Yeah, baby. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got some milk, girl. Give me some milk. <laughs> yeah, you got some milk, baby. <laughs> Look, that's some good milk, girl. Some canned milk. Uh -huh. Wait, I want to hear about the hey, booty. Christina. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh baby wow. Oh, you're beautiful. Yeah, but don't put your booty in my face. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make me foul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, now wait a minute. So there's all we gotta deconstruct this whole thing. First of all, whoever is has followed up on III is a YMH fan. Must have, must be. Right? Yeah. I don't know how they found him. Right. So that well, it also must be the original person that the, the same person must be the person that we found. Right? What do you mean? I don't think, I, I suspect, I don't know, but I suspect whoever filmed III in the first place that we found is also happens to be a YMH fan or has now become a YMH fan because maybe someone alerted him or her that we do a lot of chatting about, it could, about this gentleman. It could be. And, and so now I, you got to show that to Christina. The question is, is it going to be on YMH or on this show? Nadav? Yeah. We, we showed it to her on uh, yesterday's YMH. And how'd it go? She loved it. She can't wait to meet him. Yeah, it, it was like it was. It was 
<laughs> it was like uh, the king shouting out to me, man. It's very special when, they, when our when our when our special people, our cool guys, shout out to us. Um, and he, so, he has a YouTube, right? I I, I does. Okay. Yeah, I think. Does he have his own his own channel? Or like, how did how did that happen? Like, did like we how did we find out? him? Yeah. Did, or how did the is, Christina thing happen? Yeah. Like, how did he learn about Christina? Yeah. Is, I, is I it suspect what you're saying? It's the that... cameraman saying. I'm saying it's the cameraman saying. Hmm. You got some fans. Say hello to. I'm not sure he knows who Christina is. Right. He just right. heard Christina. He just, yeah. He just was just like the king. I don't think he knows who I mm -hmm. am. But yeah. So, which hurts me. But, but, <laughs> but you got to give him a personal shout out. But I, we talk about him all the time. You got to get a TikTok, man. Why, why aren't you on TikTok? I am on TikTok. You, started, you started are on TikTok. Yesterday. Ah. Have so. you made one a post yet? I made two posts. Well, where can people follow you? Uh, at Dr. Drew, strangely enough, at DRDREW. I, I had another one, which, which was at Dr. Drew Pinsky, and I started working on that one. And my wife's like, no, that's not the right one. So I, <laughs> so I went to Dr. Drew, and I did essentially what I'm going to do, on, what I plan to do on TikTok, just answer questions. This is what people like me to do is answer mm -hmm, questions. So mm -hmm. I'll just answer questions. Perfect. Uh, and the, my first set of questions were, strangely, a bunch of people that couldn't sleep. Hmm. Like everybody was like, I can't sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night. I can't, why can't I sleep? What's why, the problem? Why, why do I have to take my sleeping pills and it doesn't work when I don't take my sleeping pills? Yeah. So. <laughs> and the answer was. The answer just is. Just don't sleep, right? That is actually the answer. The answer. The, oh, the, yeah. yeah. The sleep uh, specialists are now saying, just stay awake. Just get out of bed. Don't sleep. You will eventually sleep. You will eventually sleep. Uh, and if you go one night without sleeping. You go one night without sleeping, but the next night you will sleep. Uh, and that's just how it works. And that, that, that's what they're kind of recommending. And, and work on your sleep hygiene. Don't have lights on. Don't have the TV on. Don't have any stimulation late night. Don't drink caffeine. Don't drink fluids. Blah, 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 blah. There's all kinds of stuff you can do to help enhance all that. Um, but this, the question I got was, why do I, if I take my, have to take my, keep taking my sleeping pills? Once you take sleeping pills for more than a week, you're not going to be able to sleep after that for no about two way. weeks. Oh, I yeah, see. It, it keeps you up. Your sleep's all disturbed. It's a nasty thing. And, so. and if you do it for like years, is it just you're done? You're no, never going to sleep the same it's, again? It's going to be rough. It's going to mm -hmm. be rough. Uh, and then the other question was early awakening. I wake up in the middle of the night, can't get back to sleep. That's depression. That's Whoa. typically depression. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's just working on your brain the whole, so much that it wakes you up and then you can't go back? No, it's actually a little more complicated than that. It's not about a thought process or anxiety. It's just something about the state of depression disrupts sleep in the middle of a certain sleep cycle where you're just aroused. You're up hmm. and, you, and then you have trouble getting back to sleep. Some people think it's actually, there, there were theories at one point that it was a, an attempt for the body to actually sleep deprive you because that might help raise some of the neurochemicals. I was about to say, because as you're depressed, I imagine you're, it's, it goes closer to that side of sleep. So maybe you are more or less sleeping throughout the day and you don't realize oh, it. Oh, that's interesting. You know what I mean? Like, um, is that at all? That, I, I've not seen that association, but that's mm. an interesting idea. Maybe you are mm. in a sleepy condition when you're depressed and that's why. Very interesting. I like your thinking. I like how you think. You're going to get around every goddamn rule there is, man. I mean, just when getting my doctor's the, When you license, become a defense lawyer. This. Defense lawyer, not defense lawyer. Defense lawyer. Right. Does it make sense that the same company who controls half of the online retail activity also passively eavesdrops on your private conversations at home? And what about the idea that a single company controls 90% of the internet searches, runs your email service, and gets to track everything you do on your smartphone? Big tech is more powerful than most countries, and they profit by exploiting your personal data. It is time to put a layer of protection between your online activity and the tech juggernauts. And that's why I use and recommend ExpressVPN. Think about how much of your life is on the internet. Sadly, every site you visit Every video you watch or message you send gets tracked and the data is mined. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address, something big tech can use to personally identify you. So ExpressVPN makes your activity harder to trace and harder to sell to advertisers. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet, internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on your network. And ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection. That's why it's rated the number one VPN service by CNET and Wired. What I like most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. Download the app on your phone or computer, tap one button, and you are protected. So stop handing over your personal data to the big tech monopolies. They mine your activity and sell your information. Protect yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me safe online. Visit expressvpn.com slash afterdark. That's e x p r e s s v p n dot com slash after dark to get three months free. 
Go to expressvpn.com slash after dark right now to learn more. Uh, okay, so I want to go back. I said I wanted to deconstruct III. What did he say about the booty? I think there's. A, I think there might be a new terminology though that, that we will like. He definitely said booty like a watermelon, but then he says something else that I didn't know. I, the thing with him is he just starts going off, and once he feels himself, it's like it kind of doesn't matter what he says. He's, <laughs> like, he's just saying. He's it's all the same. <laughs> he could just say I, yeah, yeah. He's, in the, same he's thing. in the flow. <laughs> so, <laughs> he is. so can you go? Can you dial oh, it back? Oh, y'all looking so there we go. good. Okay, we got all that. Yeah, y'all making me nervous. He says the watermelon first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, girl. Girl, like a watermelon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. What else, homie? Listen, they don't have no in that watermelon. But that woman, that blind-headed woman, yeah, blind-headed. with that man. I don't know their name. Oh, she's talking, he's talking but, about Christina. Oh, baby. Your booty look like some cornflakes, guys. Oh, he said cornflakes. Like some cornflakes? <laughs> I don't get it. What does it mean? Because she's white. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see what he said now. So he's talking about Christina the yeah, whole time. he's talking about Christina. I didn't so, notice that in the beginning. He said the blonde hair woman so with the man. So Christina with the watermelon booty. <laughs> with the... With the cornflakes booty. <laughs> the cornflakes watermelon booty. What's Come up? Come on. That's got to be part of the terminology now going forward. Cornflakes. Cornflake booty, watermelon booty. I want to immortalize those, please. Christina, next time, Christina cornflakes. Next Kaczynski. time I have a question about, you know, a, a word game, let's put cornflake booty or watermelon <laughs> booty in there. Oh, my God. Cornflakes booty. Okay. What uh, do you what do you what do you say? What's what's your what do you call your your lady when when you're being like that when you're when you're feeling it? You know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. I, what do you call her? I don't. I'm not. Maybe you can coach me up a little bit. I, I'm not coach good. I'm not good with words when I'm uh, in that's the a th- zone. That's the thing. Like, see, like, see, like, cornflakes makes no goddamn sense, right? But God. it's like, and I mean, shit. I could even be wrong about what he's saying. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. But that's the thing is that it doesn't matter. It's like when you're in the flow. It's you, like you can say anything. you can say whatever you want. It's like it's just you're just saying it. It's yeah. the vibe of what you're saying, right? That that you are saying. It's not the words. Okay. But I was just, I was just curious if if you uh, remember any of that because it'd be funny as hell. It, it, to, let, let me let me try to practice it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's see what comes up. All right. Right. You're coaching me. This is I, I'm taking this in. I, I get it. It's, it's all right. So so it really doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> see that's that's it's already just, uh, a, that's information to me. It's like man, I'm trying to think if you were getting into it right now. And oh man, I love this cornflake booty I'm looking at. <laughs> I love this cornflake. You're just like you're just like girl, man. Oh, like I love you. Just cook that whatever that that, that roast beef earlier today. Yeah, it was roast you beef. With those roast beef looking hands and shit. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. You know, it's just it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to make sense. Oh my god, I feel so silly. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, cause cause I mean that's what it does, right? It like brings the fun out. Because it's just, it's a flow. It's a flow. It brings the fun out. It brings I, the fun out. It brings those feelings out that are like silly and I think, stupid. I think there's some white guy gene that just like makes that really hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's mm. like, like, I think I got a white guy gene that, that blocks me. I mean, I'm half white, man. I, I, I know how, I know how it is. But, uh, so how, if you were talking to the other half, how would you coach the other half up? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> right, right. For me, right. Yeah, for me, I just tell yeah. that part to shut up because yeah, see, because there's too problem. much thinking. It's too yeah. much thinking. You just, just do, just feel. I don't know. It just all right, all right. I like that. Just be. All right. Say, yeah. Stop thinking. All right. Yeah. The more you think, because yeah, when you think, like I said, if you were to think about everything he just said, yeah, it's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. But right. when you hear it, doesn't it make you laugh? Doesn't it make yeah, you it's feel musical? It's, yeah, it's musical. Yeah, it's 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 poetry. And you're a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I get it. You know, no, 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 no. I, you know, I. That's what I'd say. I'd say get into that vibe. All right. Instead of uh, thinking about it, I feel much better about myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cool guy doesn't need a sugar mama. Hmm. Cool guy doesn't need a sugar mom. I wonder what's uh, what's uh, in store for us there. I bet he does. Uh oh. Hey I yo, he does. you dumb bitch. Yeah you, you got do. me right here <laughs> drinking another one because you saw so a stupid. Is that coke? Asking me if, if I want a sugar mama, bitch. I work for my money, bitch. I work for my everything I have. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Who now, is he now, Is he for real? You think? What, what do you he, mean? I like, mean, is he bullshitting with all that? Is he trying to? Is he playing a character in sort of oh, some way? Is that I'm, him? That looks he's like a cool he's guy. genuinely he's calling a cool someone guy. out. Right. Yeah, all right. he's a cool guy. Yeah, I mean, look at the shades inside and the yeah. polarized. You know, they got yeah. multicolored ones on. And, that, and that's the flag of uh, what flag is that over his right shoulder? Uh, Colombia? I think Columbia? that's Argentina. Argentinian could, flag. Could You're be. right. 
and he's got the the Bose uh, noise canceling headphones yeah. on. I he's mean, a cool guy. Yeah, he's he he tried to do the Beats thing like eight years too late. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the what is it, Oakley? I song? still what see guys wearing Beats and whatnot as a, as a clothing. You head. still do. But I mean, is that is that a thing still? You should go help them because that's not a thing. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're yeah. struggling with something for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, every time I see it, I, I, I just get confused. Like, what? Yeah, it, I would be too. I'd be like, hey, man. All right, it, thank you. Are you? I feel cool Are you already. back in 2002? C- can we do a couple TikToks in here since we're talking about my TikTok? Um, and please do follow my TikTok. I appreciate that. And, and put the questions up there. You can put your questions, short questions there. I'll answer your longer ones here, of course. In fact, we're going to do a show of just questions and It'll be fun coming up. Ooh, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. So I made my first TikTok. <laughs> and I got All this right. comment. At first, I was like, I'm not really sure how to take this at all. Do they want to see what I looked like when I was five? Because in <laughs> oh. 1990, I was five. Yeesh. And I'm like, no, no, that can't be it. We're not probably open with that kind of thing here. So then it dawned on me, this person thinks the same as that little bitch cashier at Ross at one day who informed me I qualified for the senior citizen discount. Oh. I'm 35. I'm 35. I understand that lots of people have found all these miracle lotions and stuff nowadays so women look just a lot younger than they usually do. But I am not one of those women. I'm a smoker and I go oh. tanning. This, uh, is so this is 35. It's the tanning too. She said want tanning. you all to be aware. She's crying. I feel bad for her. But here's what they want. Here's what they really were saying. I think they were saying, "Hey, there's something attractive about her. I want to see what you look like when you were younger." Yeah. They don't. Yeah, yeah. They don't care. They want to see her in a bathing suit. Is what they want to yeah. see. They don't care if she's 35 or 55. They just want to see something before. <laughs> but they did think that she was. 55 because of that but I, but yeah no you're right it is like, it's like not, she's it, hot she, she went all the way yeah and then maybe should i think about stopping smoking because that's really the problem here well she said tanning too i imagine she got to uh, stop that too the, the ta- not as much the smoking really takes people that down. Much? makes them look yeah Damn. it does yeah it does hmm. you hear that in a dog? so i feel bad for a lady there it's good she that's is attractive smoking, and she could we want to see her when she was in 2010 yeah. Yeah. That's well, all. Wait, hold on. 35 was, oh, I was five in the 90s, huh? Yeah, that's true. Damn. All right, you got me. Wait, no. Hold wait on, though. So 35, so 25 plus 10. She, yeah, she said, 90. She said 90s, which means all the way up to 99. She couldn't have been five in 99. Just, well, she meant early 90s, you know. Yeah, so that's sure. all right. All right, let's do another TikTok. Come on. That was a good one. Come on, girl. You're cute. It's all right. Right. See? Don't, don't be mad about yeah, it's that. it's too bad that she... Uh-oh. Hello, Jeep girl. You give me a notification, but I lost. I can't find it no more. <laughs> you're pretty. I don't know if you're married or not or whatever else. I don't know anything about you. But thank you. <laughs> oh, dude. No, stop, bro. Don't lick your lips stop. when you're talking about some stop. woman. Stop. Whew, that's nasty. You, you you can, but uh, but you better do it right. He did not do that right. Yeah, no. You got to do it like uh, I, I, I does it. <laughs> Uh, he, he did it like he left something on his lips yeah. after he was done eating. <laughs> hey, bad. speaking of King, you got any King up there just to kind of, you know, bring me back to my buddy? No, we don't have an uh, update from him. All right. Uh, horrible or hilarious. That's always a good place to, to uh, go. Oh, I got a question for you on this yeah. after. after, okay. after on this the, particular tape? or Just about horrible yeah. or hilarious in yeah. general. Like Uh-oh. these types of videos. All right. He just keeps going. Can we see that again? Because I want to see if it really hits people or not. That's what the, that's the the difference between horrible and hilarious here. It could be hilarious. Oh, that could, oh horrible. 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 Oh, we'll be right back. Wow. It now, the, now, it must not have ended up horrible by the look on the guy's face. Because it had really been... It, it looked horrible. That guy got his head blasted. So, Drew, what do you think he hurt there? His head? He, well, everything got hurt from his sort of thorax up, but he, the head he is the big problem. Forwards. He, he what? bent into like a 45 degree. Yeah, he, just... well, it, it, it whacked him. It just na- and, and then it slammed him into the table. Oh. <laughs> the, you know, the good news is the table kind of broke. The cable gave way. 
That's probably what prevented it from being really serious. Is, is that an LED screen? Yeah, it's is a whole, it's a, no, it's a screen of uh, either video screens or LED, yeah. And those are heavy as shit. Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's also a lawsuit in addition to being horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just made a million dollars. It's ESPN. It's Spanish ESPN, I guess, right? Uh, yeah. Hispanic. Yep. Oh, my God. Are there other horrible or hilarious out there? Yep. Okay, let's do another one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was I experienced funny. them all as pretty horrible. So it's that, that was horrible to you? Yeah. That wasn't I, funny. I understand you were... I, I just I just think of all the things that are going to happen. <laughs> that are, go ahead. Here, here, excuse Th- that's, me, here we go. That's true. You like see it further. Yeah. You see the end. Is that result. a kid? I think... Is it a kid? Or it's, or it's a small man? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, that's kind of hilarious. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's he's fine. He's going to be okay. But those tires are, you know, have harder and heavier than you imagine. Yeah. But he should be okay. The problem, the only, the problem with that, I think we can let it be hilarious, but m- head injuries are hard to predict what ones are going to really hit, hurt people and really ones aren't. Sometimes people lean back in a chair and hit their head when they're laughing and, mm-hmm. and they're done for two months. <laughs> the fact, I'm not kidding. It happens a lot. Jesus. But the fact that it was frontal, it kind of hit here, That that's good for him. Oh, that's good. Well, there so, you go. So we can let that one be a little hilarious. He's fine. He, it bounced off him. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, well, what's the worst that can happen? You really want me to answer that? No. Well, what's your question about it? Yeah, I figured. What's your question about uh, horrible or hilarious? So horrible, hilarious. So this ended up evolving because, uh, you know, as we all know, Tom is a, is a psycho. Yes. Um, it evolved into watching videos of people just straight up dying. Just no, no, not, nothing like, well, it's interesting did they, they get hurt or not? It, it's it, like, no, they died. Well, like, I, I was around <laughs> when that kind of got started <laughs> and I was the one saying, uh, that's a dead person. <laughs> that's what I was the one saying that. Now, so, they, they found out that the two that I was very concerned about turned out not to have died. One mm-hmm. was the, the Asian gentleman bringing in the car to his... Uh, his uh, the, the, the classic one. The classic yeah, one. Yeah, where he... Ah, bagala! Yeah, and he gets driven into. Yeah. Uh, and his legs get cut off. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the other was the guy on the scooter, taking the scooter up into a, a little <laughs> truck and he smashing his head, his head in. Yeah. <laughs> Both people did not, not do well, I promise you. But but they're not dead. I, I don't know about the guy with the scooter. We never did find out about that guy, but probably not. He's fine. Probably not. But but my question is, um, for for the ones where they are like, have you seen the 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 like meat grinder looking one with the the lathe? I think it is that he got oh caught in. Oh my god! Have you seen that one? Did no. Tom show you that one? No. I think most people would in here would say that you're lucky for not seeing that. Huh? degloving you actually saw the degloving de-gloving. degloving one yeah gloving of a leg or an arm uh a body a, a whole person what yeah yeah like like he he gets it like he i think he reached into this thing that was like spinning real. do yeah. we have the the i don't think i want to see it no uh, we'll tell They're you like, what happens yeah he, he puts his arm in the thing yeah. like by accident or whatever and it like catches him and then his whole body just he just starts flapping around like a piece of paper and oh it's, it's done and then all you see is like a like a red mist Ugh. and like what you think is is a body but my my question well, is who knows what happened i mean i can't there's a million different things can happen with that my well i mean he's i mean not what you mean is he dead like because he's probably not alive yes. oh no he got yeah. shredded into okay. pieces okay yeah, yeah, yeah. all right well, but but my, my question that's is that's not a degloving that's just crush you know just crushed, uh, shredded but if if i don't because my justification for why i don't feel like it's if it's not funny i definitely don't feel bad well, it's not like you're watching a movie and go, it's just a movie. It's right. really somebody, we're watching somebody get really hurt. But but I guess like, but you know that thing, like, sure, if I saw the family afterwards yeah. and they're like, yeah, oh, yeah. they're crying. Okay, yeah, sure, I'd feel bad. But like in the moment, what makes me feel bad about a video like that, like for instance, I saw the one where a dude broke his, or even Tom's video yeah. where he breaks his arm bent yeah. backwards. Yeah. That hurts because I can empathize with that concept of somebody breaking their arm. Yes, and yes. Going back, and I can imagine how hard, right? How like how bad that in feels. shock you yep. are. Yep. You're like, Oof. am I ever going to move this again? Yeah, Is yeah. it going to be taken off? So like, I I can empathize with the fear, the pain, but. What I can't empathize with is somebody that is blown into pieces. That, that's just so crazy. It, it's so like so that's such there. a. Yeah. It's like a thing now. It's not even a person to me. Right. 
that I, so I can't empathize with it. So there is no like I don't feel sad. I, I get that, but but I think that's your brain kind of doing that. Oh, so so it's like a defense. Yeah, mechanism. yeah. I think oh. that's the way. I, I think your brain just translates into just a thing without trying to think about it as a person because it's too gruesome to even think about. It. Got it. So and, I'm and I'm so. You're so uh, evolved. Uh, <laughs> you're so evolved. I'm, I'm that, so sensitive yeah. that, I, that I'm no, not No, it's not sensitive. you're so sensitive. It's just something your brain just does. And it, it makes mm. sense to me that it would do that. And, and uh, I, I, because I see people in all kinds of horrible conditions, I can kind of, I imagine what's, what's rolling into the ER. That's right. what I think about. Right, right. I mean, you've uh, seen, so, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you've seen so, the worst of the worst. Let's, let's uh, cleanse our palate with one. <laughs> what you guys pick. A dealer's choice. Give us, give us a video just to cleanse our palate with today. And please let it not be the guy caught in the uh, spinning. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to see it? Uh -oh. Yes, I do. I love being a fat little piggy. Oh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's uh, almost like, uh, what's his name? The the piggy guy. Norm. 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 It's like Norm a little bit. I, I, and it's interesting how the mm, breastplate like, seems like to be Norm. part of it. I, I, it how, why would the... It, this is something interesting if we could ever ask Norm... Which is why the breast play and the piggy, like it's tied together with this guy too, mm. right? He seems to be. I, 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 man, it's it's like, look, I got stuff, I got weird stuff that I that I get off to, but man, like, like what? That's got to be rough. We can't go there. <laughs> We can't go there, Drew. You, you don't. So, you don't want to go. There. I mean, you go. They give us a light version. A light version. Yeah, just something light. I mean, I, I fuck with the uh, like, you know, the 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 basic ones that everybody, the fucking feet and the. And the oh, so you you'll fetishize stuff. You'll, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fetishize. Like like parts of the body. I, yeah. I there's almost no part. Fucking elbow. Like I I could do I could do some weird. Will you shit will you go down to like a like a body. like a uh, u porn or something? Uh, Sort like, of. like to no, because for me, like, I mean, porn's a, a weird topic for me because I grew up like with zero type of sex anywhere. It wasn't just like that's bad. It's like that doesn't happen. Right, it anywhere. Yeah, it, yeah. It's it's not. It doesn't exist. And if anybody says they did it, they lied. And I believed that for so long. Mm. So, um, so w once I discovered porn, I used to watch it like like Netflix. Like I just browse through that shit. Just be like, what's what's hot today you know yeah, like, oh yeah. this one's featured i would literally look at it like that like those yeah. things that nobody clicks in pornhub i'm clicking on it because for the entertainment value <laughs> just because yeah. like it's just i know that that people watch this but i want to understand why okay and you're, you're so, doing some anthropology i guess yeah yeah so it ended up leading into yeah i just watch it like casually now so That's so, so yeah I, and through that i've grown into liking a lot of weird shit like so that. it eventually becomes uh, some, something connects like something, yeah, yeah so, something it, happens and it connects you it's like yeah. it, the fact that i know that somebody is getting off to this thing as is, long as it doesn't disgust arousing. me yeah, yeah 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 it's like and you have oh, to, I, and you come into disgusting stuff too for sure. I mean, like, I don't do anything with fucking... But, but you, know, you come across that Shit, stuff. obviously. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. I don't pee on... And that comes on the show nothing. here. That's just... We, that's then Tom shows us that. Pretty much every yeah, okay. one of these that have come on here. Yeah, I don't like being called a pig and playing with my tits and... Right. You know. That's good. <laughs> Any, thank you for being here. This has uh, been a pleasure, and I'm so happy you were here. This was really fun. And, I uh, loved it. We're going to have a great defense attorney that we can all call upon one of these days. Yes, sir. You ever need my help? Let me know. Or if, uh, yeah, if you need to get around some rules, and he's, even now, you're man, <laughs> he's, he's, got, he's got a diabolical brain. He'll figure it out. I got you. Uh, but no big words. No big <laughs> words, everybody. No big words. You don't want to do that, guys. No, you don't. No big that. words. Is that, the, is that the episode title? No big words? <laughs> I think that's what it is, everyone. That's what it will be. Uh, all right. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you next time. All conversations and information exchanged during participation of the Dr. Drew After Dark podcast or interaction on the drdrew.com website is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not confuse this with treatment or physician medical advice or direction per se. You must always follow your medical professional's advice and direction. Nothing on these podcasts or posted on this site supplements or supersedes the relationship and direction of your medical caretakers. Please understand, I am not playing the role of physician in this environment per se. I'm educating. I am a licensed physician with specialty boards in American Board of Internal Medicine and American Board of Addiction Medicine.